the manual also gets into the home networking for your heat master furnace uh, this is a free feature it comes with it uh, you do not have to use it uh, however if you're doing a new install i would suggest at least bearing a piece of conduit to pull an ethernet cable to the stove later uh, you can also use a wireless repeater but after years of dealing with repeaters i'm just trying to get completely away from them matter of fact one of these days i'm going to rent a trencher and i will be running ethernet to the shop and out back as well get away from the wi-fi but it goes quite detailed on how to do this and i will show you on the stove i'm not going to get into what you need to do inside at your computer or modem as i have two separate modems in the house for two separate internet services and they are night and day different the instructions for one will not work on the other you can't even begin to do it on the other so we're going to cover just the stove uh, here we are at the stove you'll need to power it up and since it is cold you'll get the uh oh Sorry, there it is. Low temp, press cold start button to reset. Now, using this key, go to the last screen all the way down. Press escape. You'll see stop. You can check your network settings. IP address. See, that's default. But to actually change it, you have to stop the program. Go to stop, press OK, stop program, left arrow, OK. Now, network, IP address. The first two numbers, the 192, 168, will always be that on a home network those two subsets never change the third subset that is your home network address for example i'm going to use one the last subset of numbers is the address for your stove and I'm going to set it to 150 because I know I'm not using that press ok escape escape go up to start ok again and it will go back to normal And like I said, on your home networking in the house, um, if you might need to contact your internet service provider, or if you have a friend that works with this every day, have them help you with it. There are just too many variables between all the routers available. And this has been Martin Lappin for HeatmasterSS.com.